Hey there, what can I do for you? Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, have it your way. How can I help? Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. It's not that I look forward to seeing her. I just can't help but wonder what she wants. But perhaps we have better things to do. Greetings again from the offices of Zerger Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Yes, we're still waiting for you to return with the Sand People Chieftain's gaffy stick. I'll reward you well when you do. We don't have any new information on the subject. It's still possible that they have an enclave in the far south of the Doom Sea. And I would remind you that you did agree to do this task for Zerga Corporation. We expect completion in a timely manner. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Of course. Zerga Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'll have to refer you to the representative kiosk. Very well. Though I do... I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerga Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm, there was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Farewell. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew, as well as I, communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. 
Now what is this about? Where is father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Well, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for Crate Dragon Pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? You don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition, nor am I the adventurer my husband was. What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron, an ignoble end to a fine man. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Uncle. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Aw, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future.
No one leaves Anchorhead without... Well, let's see it. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you know him, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. Don't play dumb. You're just another of his playthings down at the hunting club. I know your type through and through. Well, he can do what he wants. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. I don't remember you from Faz's club. You new to Anchorhead? Could you maybe help me get out of here? I'll bet she does. She's decided I finally worn out my welcome and she's fixed my droids to do her dirty work. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Something about me not following her archaic rules for proper conduct in a marriage. I swear I never saw this coming. You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. Something about me not following her arc. The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. Let's congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help, please? Well, of course, darling. Anything at all. Hey, no problem. But it won't be a fortune or anything. I bet the wife has drained our shared accounts. Now, uh, about that help. Just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and, uh, ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about it.
That was... unpleasant. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> now, my dear lady, I must see to your reward. Will, uh, earthly delight suffice? Eh, I suppose not. You never ask me for anything, but I consider my life worth something. Please, take this. I insist. I love it when the ladies play hard to please. But there isn't much more I can do. This is an expensive setback. What else could I give you? I need what I have to repair my droids and get back up and running. Look, I really can't. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have fixed the droids first then. Rally on my target, boys! Out of nowhere they came. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. Nothing in the job description covers this. Wait. Well, I guess we'll see how you fare. Here they come again. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about their enclave in the south? 
Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. Glad it's not my job. I don't have... Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I... The company tried to... We're not... It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Yeah. Ah, the Jawas.
with me. Oh, 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 oh,
What can I do? I'm here.
I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. the one I need you, Bobo. You're gonna turn on this guy now? This is low, even for you. This betrayal is beneath you. Do not let...
Weird finding it in the back of a crate dragon's lair, don't you think? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The crate dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Say, now that we've got the star map, do you think we can leave this planet soon? We've got sand everywhere. To give you credit, you've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terras. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Let's go, boys. It's showtime.
Yes.
Greetings again from the offices of Zerger Corpor- I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftains, Gaffy? Then I'll take those off your hands. I see that. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are- I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the- I think you'll find that the reward I've given is more than adequate. It would simply be inadvisable to attempt such a... I'm sure. Sir... Kukumo no ba mulera tikun. Takom juz dach mik. Mucho shak bakhat. Ka tikun ida hao donga. Hey, why are you being so mean to this little guy? What did he ever do to you?
Back already? Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me, and now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. So that's the way it is, is it? All that Jedi training, and you haven't learned a thing. On the contrary, I've learned much. I've learned, for instance, when it is best to walk away from a situation that can only lead to conflict. How can you learn anything when you hear only what you want to hear? Well, go on then. Keep the holocron. It was for you, anyhow. I'll just go off and die peacefully. And you needn't bother with me anymore. That's obviously what's best. Farewell, Mother. May the Force be with you. <laughs> May as well be with one of us. I do for you. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what. Okay. How can I help? Yes, but I don't feel any better. After all my training, I would have thought myself above such anger. For it to come so easily disturbs me greatly. I don't need a holocron to remember my father. And I will never see Mother again. Have I learned nothing? It... No. I don't want to talk about this. Thank you. But I must think about what I have done. How can I help? I can try. Then I see. <laughs> Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation.
Yes, what's on your mind? I, um, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle Over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these... these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just... I, I feel a bit useless. I, I, mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. You don't exactly pull any punches, do you? Uh, not that I don't deserve it, I suppose. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner?